So we have one thing about the ligados and what is a leak? Because the use of ligado thing is that you can move the notes in another kind of contour. That's one great advantage and Paco consider it as a very important thing. So here is one leak, is this thing here. And that works as a linear melody, for example, in fandangos. Right, or it could be also doubled. Or, you know, it could be mixed with other things and it's, it's a resource, right? Because in flamenco we have what is remate. Remate means the ending of the phrase. So if I am... And that was my remate, that is the ending of the phrase. So this is very important. And, and these remates, there can be percussive, it can be in percussion or, or rhythmical ones, like in this case, or melodical ones, like in, in the case of a scale plane or this thing here. Right? So this is the, this is the thing about the remate and a leak because in, in you know in other styles they also uh, play leaks but what we do with the leaks also we need to everything is useful if we know how to put it together right and and this is this is one reason why although people may lose waste so much time without personal guidance to try to find out things which are so easy to to get from an expert directly because of the particular nowadays you know there are videos of everything and people make so of course not everyone but some young people tend to think well this i can learn from this video this i can learn from this other this i can do from that one then they do a mix of it like a salad and take that but why people do not want to accept a teacher or follow a method this is a psychological thing also because it, when they go to some of them don't have even an experience of the luxury of having a personal relationship with the teacher you know because they go to the school in the modern system and then they put some videos there also so they think why would need a, if we have google why would need a guru or a teacher why we need it if we can fi find information yeah you can find information but the problem is that how you will use it, specifically in music. That's why I said this, do it yourself and be confused forever because you never get really anywhere. I never seen people that playing alone, learning alone on their own, except for Paco de Lucia, you know, and trying to imitate that, not good idea. And he also emphasized that we need to study harmony and things uh, better that he couldn't go to the school and that's why he didn't uh, study music, but play by ear, etc. In our case, to grasp things, because of course that's not a talk about if someone wants to be a professional player. It can be just anyone liking to play. And then, because of the joy of playing itself, you derive some pleasure out of this. But the results of how you're, even if you can get any information, if you don't know how to use those things, combinations because if you take one factor out the equation doesn't work anymore and this the video doesn't say it but in the result will be clear that people who follow a method and I post there I will post also uh, at the description some of the of or in the first comment some of the of the cases because in my case the particular method I invented to study online is for everyone and this is results from my method. If you put, type that, results of my method, Ruben Diaz, and you will see 20 or 30 videos of examples of guys who learn the things in an easier way. Because actually, really speaking, it all boils down to two postures, two positions there. That is, one, we learn it the difficult way or the hard way. 
And guess what? The one with the teacher is the easiest one. <laughs> because the teacher al already has done half of the work for you first. In the other case, if I have to guess out what is the proper thing to do or the proper path to follow, I may be very easily delayed, misled, and clouded by the misunderstandings which come uh, because of the difference that is in the theory and in the application of the learning process of guitar itself, meaning that in theory, and I learned this from the great Bill McBurney, there is no difference in theory, there is no difference between practice and theory. But in practice, there is a difference because there will be a gap there in which we don't know how to apply things in the ideal ways. Therefore, therefore, in my times, when people go to a teacher and ask how it's done. Like when Paco was alive, you know, I had a book like this. I asked any, at any opportunity, I asked all the questions I could ask to him. Now I will have to buy this ball, you know, a magic ball, and then sit together there with my friends, Enrique and Walter Stella, who knows who, Evans and everyone, and we will hold their the hands and, and try to call him from the, you know, from the, from the beyond, the Masaya, to ask questions. But when he was alive here on this planet, I, I make sure to, to try to, to ask everything that is possible because I know I will save time. And also because of following a teacher, there is, there is, if you follow a method or as a hobby, this and your improvement goes up so much. Because at some point also, people who, who play, let's say, have more talent and play plays uh, easier uh, things, let's say that they sometimes is a bad thing because at some point they get stuck. And just because everything they learn, they learn it easier have some talent, then they, they get stuck at some point and don't go beyond that. So knowing first where you are and having this objective perspective without the teacher is impossible. Because you, you, I am as a mirror for my students. And therefore, that's why I always invite you to study with me for any capacity or to anything that you may like to improve or implement in your plane. Uh, it's very interesting, this thing, because, of course, some old, 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 older people, and of course many people, want to have a teacher because they want to save time. And they are smart enough to know that this, if I learn from a coach, I, I, will, I will directly nail it right away. Because of your specific anatomical construction, because of how you can approach the instrument, which is a unique thing that can never be uh, obtained by information in a general video. When you're talking about the general thing, like if I tell you how to do uh, a, a complex thing, so I, I can explain 20 times the thing, but that doesn't mean you will do it. You know, so then this is the confusion where people have that they get stuck forever. Because there are so many opinions and it's the so-called market of of music learning or anything is so much evaded by different uh, options and by some good, some nice, some really bad. And then depending on the quality of the advice you follow, that's you. But people apparently don't care about that. And then follow or wrong with the thing or follow too many contradictory statements or opinions which, make, which get them totally stuck. At this, of course, I have seen I tell you, hundreds of people have studied with me through 15 years. I have seen hundreds and hundreds in Canada in the Royal Conservatory of Toronto. I was there five years. Also, I see at least 300 of the students just there. I'm talking about 15 years ago. So I have seen many people. And because of, if you want to take something valuable from me, learn this, that you learn easier way, always with the teacher. Because if you follow one line, there will not be contradictions. And then therefore you are not confused. And it means you are strong. And then that which you can enjoy of music will come there. But if we keep thinking that the AI or the videos or anything will provide us with the personal, like, you know, like Einstein said, computers can give you only answers, but cannot give you the questions. Or can, can make a question, but cannot tell you what is the relevant question to ask. So whenever you are stuck in, in music, 
there, there is a reason. And good news is there is a way to fix it. So if you like the idea, let me know, and I will see you very soon in Skype. Thank you very much. See you next time.